there might be some new people here. Why don't you tell them about Nine Inch, what it is, BBC Token, where you guys are at on the charts, and what's been going on in the affiliation with BitBoy and this token. That is a wonderful idea. Yeah, yeah, good idea. <laughs> so, um, so real quick then, Nine Inch is a decentralized exchange uh, trading platform on Pulse Chain and Ethereum. You can trade, you can, uh, we do liquidity farming, so you can earn our incentive coin BBC, uh, which stands for Big Bonus Coin. You can earn that on our platform. And basically, because of, we had a very, very long shakeout for a long time, we've got two tokens in the, in the index. We've got the nine inch token, which is kind of the core token. Then we've got BBC, which is the inflationary, um, it's the inflationary incentive token. And we had a very long shakeout. And I truly believe the bottom is in. I, I said it a few weeks ago. I was like, I think the bottom's in. Too many guys have sold now. I just it's horrendously oversold. And we've got all these new features coming. Uh, we we are the best platform on Pulse Chain specifically because we've got tools like the DCA. We've got a launch pad so you can create a meme coin in about one minute, which is exactly what BitBoy used to create his meme coin on our platform today. Um, we have an airdrop function so you can paste a bunch of wallets in and you can get an airdrop over to all of these guys. Speaking of which, I've still got to send the airdrop to the band holders. I'll do that in a minute. Just reminding myself. Um, yeah, and it's just basically we're just aiming to be like a one-stop shop on Pulse Chain. So if you want to use Pulse Chain for anything, trading, farming, um, creating a token, you can do it all here. Uh, we also integrated the uh, Pulse Chain Bridge, so that's available on the website. We've got the best block explorer on Pulse Chain right now. We're just killing it, man. We're just hitting it from every angle. Like we're literally, there's only a few features we need to add, and we will. You will not need to visit another website to use Pulse Chain. Thanks for meeting me, bro. I was just in the middle of my pitch. Yeah, cheers for that. Much appreciated. <laughs> so soon enough, it it will be in a position where to use Pulse Chain, you will never have to leave Nine Inch, and uh, that's that's my dream. That's what I've wanted all along, and I don't even think Richard would mind if that happened because the amount of adoption that we can potentially bring by hooking up with guys like BitBoy and launching tokens. We, we've always aimed to be like the handshake decks. Like we don't, we don't really compete with people. We just, we just are friendly with people. And uh, that's exactly what we've done so far. And it's, it's working with dividends. Our, um, our incentive token BBC is up something in the region of 14 or 15 X in the last month. And it's only just beginning. Like every, almost every day I'm looking at it, it's up 15, 20% hundred like sixty percent yesterday, something like that. It's just it's just crazy. Like the BBC token seems to be absolutely skyrocketing at the moment. It just hit a new local high today of forty five cents. Literally um less than a month ago it was two and a half cents. So yeah, that just goes to show you the amount of gains that you can make over here. If you're familiar with PulseX, this is very similar to PulseX. We've just got a ton of additional features. And um, oh, we also do single-sided staking as well. So if you own any of our tokens or some of the other tokens that we've allocated for this, you can stake them and you can earn BBC, um, which then you can use the BBC to stake and earn other random coins that are launched on the launchpad, as well as a few other things that we've got coming up as well. So yeah. I'm going to stop talking now because I've been rattling on for a while. When co-host. <laughs> one, one last question for you. So why should people come to Pulse Chain uh, instead of being on Ethereum? Why is, what do you think is the pitch for Pulse Chain as a whole? Do, do, you like paying, do you like paying $50 for a transaction or would you rather pay a penny? Or less? I think that's the best sales pitch for Pulse Chain right now is just how cheap it is. Like that token that we launched earlier for BitBoy probably cost, in total, including the, the airdrop and everything that we did, it's probably going to cost about a dollar. To do the same shit on Ethereum, it would cost about 10 grand to do exactly the same as, this, as what we've just done today. So one dollar or 10 grand, what, what would you rather do? Also, it's the most undervalued chain in the fucking world. Because there's no chain with this low of a market cap with this big of a community, so we got we got the potential to grow, man. Hundred percent, hundred percent, and the, and the builders and people just working and grinding constantly, like yeah. The decentralization. Does anybody want to talk about that? How that all's been set up, and that's a pretty big thing. That's as we move into more of a 
they want to KYC us and do all this bullshit. I mean, Richard's kind of making a, a play for how he's doing things on Paul Shank. Why don't you talk about that a little bit, sir? That's about the extent uh, of uh, my technical knowledge on it. I figured somebody else might be able to explain it better. I will, if I can, if I can add, um, it's all about blockchain. It's all about decentralization, right? And I think Richard Hart and the community mainly, the community is doing a great job on that. And of course, there are other blockchains also uh, working on decentralization. But what we see this cycle and what we see influencers doing is launching meme coins. There's, they launching meme coins. It's like, I think it's going to be a bull cycle of meme coins. Like we saw it in the previous cycle with Shiba Inu and uh, one more two dots or whatever. That was, that was a start. And now we're in the start of the bull market, maybe middle, middle, it depends. And this bull market, it's all about meme coins. We're not, we, we're not seeing pumps in the top of the market. We're seeing pumps in the middle, in, in the middle of the bull run. And BitBoy did something really wise. He chose nine inch decks. That is a decks only about meme coins. And what's the genius about this? The two meme coins, they have also utility. You can earn meme coins with the meme coins that you're getting. Like, th think about that. That was quite wise. And he chose, he chose a community that really knows how to work with uh, liquidity providing, uh, he chose a DEX uh, with DCing in, DCing out, and he said Pulse Chain is a, is a blockchain for memes, you know? Not only for that, of course, because we have great uh, projects also launching, but if you want to do things with memes, uh, Pulse Chain is the right thing, and what's the best thing than the best DEX on Pulse Chain? Nine names that I go on. <laughs> And your guys' Telegram group, uh, the Coin Hub, really is shaping up to be like the center of all that. You guys got a lot going on over there in a big community and AMAs and TA. So, you know, that thing's huge. So props to that. But Coin Hub is going to be the BSC gems of Pulse Chain. So if anyone who's listening right now, I think we've got like 300 of people listening, which is awesome, by the way. Thank you to everyone who's coming through and participating in this. It's a fucking, this, this is, this is a day that will go down in history for Pulse Chain, I'm telling you. Um, but anyone who is listening right now, you need to go ahead and join the Coin Hub Telegram, which is t.me forward slash Coin Hub, C-O-I-N-H-U-B underscore nine inch. Uh, that's the number nine inch. Go and join that. That is the best DGen community on Pulse Chain by far. Uh, there's so much alpha in there, right? So, like, for example, Solid X was the last big runner that we had. That went up, uh, I think it was like 34,000 X in eight days. And um, the top on that was something like $270. That was posted in CoinHub at $2. I think just less than $2. So, uh, man... That's, that's some mega games right there. And by the way, the bots were all over that shit. <laughs> like, so even getting at $2 is like a miraculous thing. And um, yeah, we just got the alpha in there, man. In fact, CoinHub is listening right now. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see the CoinHub account is currently listening. Go follow them on uh, Twitter, but then join the CoinHub Telegram group. I think we got about, uh, let me check how many people we got in here now. Uh, yeah, just under 2,000 members. I, I think that, that group should be like 10,000 members. It should be the biggest biggest um, Telegram group on Pulse Chain other than the Pulse Chain Com group. So, uh, yeah, get yourself in there if you're not already. Um, I see, Marco, you had your hand up a little bit earlier on. Uh, what, what are you saying, buddy? I know you made some gains today. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, buddy? Can you hear me? Yeah, you sound good, man. All right, man. Listen, I do, I do, I just want to take a second to congratulate you know the team on the launch, Ben, Nine Inch, Kong, Hexy, all you guys. Like, listen, I remember the first week you guys launched, right? And I don't think a lot of people remember that, right? It was up and down roller coaster. It was like emotional, a lot of ups and downs, and 
even then, since all this time, past five, six months, whatever it is, you guys still kept on grinding. You guys still kept on trying to, you know, improve nine inch. You guys, you didn't stop at all, right? Then, bam, Solid X happened. Nope happened. BBC started bouncing back again. Nine inch started bouncing back again. You guys added new features, right? Like, there's a lot of projects that, and no hate to them, but a lot of projects threw shade at you guys. A lot of people thought you guys was in a fail. A lot of people were shitting on you guys. You guys just, you just kept on and on and on and look at that you picked up one of the biggest influencers launched some coin with them did it like in a literally i think you guys just spoke about it less than a week ago and look what happened right like it's remarkable because this is huge for paul shane right Let, let's not let's not bullshit right if, if if bro does very well and mind you a lot of ben's followers don't know how to use post chain yet so this shit could take off in the next couple of days even more once they understand how to buy this not only that this is good for ben right it, it, it redeems him for ben right because of what happened with ben so bro does very well and all his followers end up getting prc 20 copies additional money from because of of all everything Richard Hart did with the airdrops and all that stuff, right? So, it's a win 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 all around for not only Nine Inch, not only for Ben, not only for you guys, not only for Pulsion, but just crypto in general, right? It goes to show you like when people build shit and they stay consistent with it, a lot of magic could happen. Whether it takes two months, three months, or even a year, like shit can really happen. Guys, congratulations. This was great. And yes, I did grab a bag. Yes, I'm up beautifully. I'm a happy man. A lot of people are happy today. And to me, honestly, yeah. guys, it's just a start, man. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, man. That's what I love to hear. Yeah, man. Fucking That's fucking population. really, really nice to hear, man. Thanks a lot, bro. Much appreciated. Yeah, we, we have not we have not stopped working. Like I, I had I had a lot of people throwing shade at me for a bit because like I went I went quiet for a short time. But I literally that was intentional, man. Like I, I wanted to disappear kinda just to let people sell. <laughs> I wanted these fuckers to sell. When our sacrifice was too big, man. I had to get rid of some people. So I just went on a bit of a like mission to piss people off and it worked because a lot of guys got out and now it means we actually get like a clear run up from here of course there's going to be sellers along the way of course there's going to be a lot of guys that um that want to you know take their profits and stuff like that but i i believe now that the guys that are in nine inch and bbc now they're the guys that are going to be sticking around and they're going to be in it for the long run and especially when they see candles like we've had in the last like couple of weeks they know that the potential is there to make it happen and we've got some of the best whales in the ecosystem supporting us i mean look at fire whale um the guy the guy who created uh, solid x that guy supports us like hell and that guy's got more money than most of you will ever have in your life uh, more than more money than you guys most of you guys in here will have in three cycles and he supports the fuck out of us uh, he loves it and he likes what we're building and all he wants is to see is that pulse chain is successful that's it so um yeah man it's it's really good I'm, I'm glad that the hard work is finally paying off and um i just i just wish for all my all my supporters and everyone who stuck with me all this time i just hope you guys get mad games that's all i want for you lot man i i know I, I get what richard was saying now back in the day about like oh i'm not here for money i'm in it for the glory i fucking understand that like 100 percent now because like once you've made a bag you don't really care about making more money you just care about like helping other people make money so i i hope that nine inch kills it for you guys and and um i hope pulse chain in general kills it for you guys i really do because like we're all in the right place this is the most undervalued chain on on in the crypto space right now nobody knows about it and those that do probably faded it because they don't like richard hart but this chain does not need richard hart we don't need him to come back like there's enough guys here with enough but there's enough personalities in the room to really make this shit pop off without him um and uh, you know I'm not saying me particularly, but like there's a lot of guys out there that have got like look at DCC. I don't think he's here anymore, but like DCC's got a huge personality, man. He's bring he's onboarding more people than anyone I know. I think um, he's he's killing it. So we got enough guys out there spreading the good words. So we we don't as much as I'd love Richard Hart to come back and start streaming again. We don't need it. We don't need it. This chain's going to be successful without him. So yeah. Hey, I just see we got uh, Corey Custer up in the building. This guy, everyone put your fucking hands together for Corey Costa, because without this guy, me and Ben would have never even started man. talking. Give him, give him so, so, me and Ben started talking in the first place, man. Shout out to you, sir. 
no, I appreciate it very much. I, that's why I've been trying to get, you know, builders, you know, acquainted with Ben, because I, I agree. I don't I don't think this chain needs a centralized hierarchical, uh, hierarchical uh, individual like Richard. I, you know, I respect Richard and I am grateful for everything that he's done and I am grateful for everything that he's done. And, you know, I, I really am grateful for him. But at the same time, you know, when you look at what's going on right now, you know, it's really the builders that are making this chain. So, you know, that's why I wanted to introduce Richard to so many different, you know, builders on Pulse Chain because, I mean, I've not Richard, Ben. I wanted to introduce Ben to other builders on Pulse Chain because, you know, if, if we just make the connection, this is what I've been saying for the last two years about projects making connections with different communities because that's really what brings adoption. It's, it's not it's not appealing to the same people. It's appealing to other people and especially mainstream influencers that will actually give another audience. Like I saw Hexy was on with Ben today, you know, 1.3K viewers were watching, you know, that, that's a considerable amount of people watching a new chain. So I, I appreciate the accolades, Hexy. I'm just trying my best to, um, trying my best to, uh, get the word out there. Also just orchestrated something with Ben and spark swap. They should have a, uh, a video coming out on Ben's channel on Sunday surrounding Spark Swap. So, um, yeah, I'm just doing all I can for the chain because it seems like, you know, talking to the same people ain't going to be doing us any good. So just utilizing my connections to help however I can. So, you know, thank, thank, uh, seriously, great job on the launch, guys, seriously. Yeah, we all, we all appreciate that, man, 100%, because... There's a, you're absolutely right. We need to be looking outwards, not inwards. There's a lot of money sloshing about in the Pulse Chain ecosystem, but unless new people come in, uh, the prices just won't go up. So, <laughs> yeah. So we really, we really need, um, uh, we really need more people coming in. And you can guarantee that out of that 1,300 or so viewers that watched it earlier, a lot more people are going to watch it later as well. By the way, but of of those 1,300 odd viewers, I don't think many of them were Pulse Chain people. Uh, a lot of them are going to be like regular because he's doing general crypto news, right? He's talking about XRP, ADA, um, I don't know, Congress stuff, and the, the hexagons are not watching that. So it's good that they're, they're like fresh eyes. And obviously, Ben's going to be promoting this coin a lot, probably moving forward. So um, everyone who he talks about this coin to is now going to go to Nine Inch and they're going to swap their network to Pulse Chain and they're going to have a thousand plus pools sitting in their wallet waiting for them so they can actually transact they don't have to onboard they don't have to bridge over um they get their airdrops so there's there's five thousand ben holders which are all going to receive their airdrop shortly um those those guys right there they're all going to come over they don't have to onboard they don't have to bridge and then at some point they'll run out they'll do some trading at some point they're going to run out of gas and then guess what they're going to have to buy some but by then they're already stuck they're already addicted right they like the chat the fast cheap transactions it's it's fantastic like it's, it's a great it's a great I, um yeah i know i i agree 100 percent. and like you know we still have episodes coming out for the pulse chain podcast uh it's on apple it's on spotify um we have a bunch of we have a bunch of new shows coming out soon um i think uh, kg still hasn't launched yet um we had one with fashion coder which i i have to say fashion coder did if she i really wish she was in here she did an absolutely brilliant job, you know, talking about the differentiating factors between why Pulse Chain's technology is better than other chains for developers, as opposed to just going on the Pulse Chain podcast with Ben and just talking about community, 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 because as much as community is great for longevity, it's obviously not doing much for price. So if you can get developers on, she, she really did a great job. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that over the next two weeks. I think it's going to be next two weeks. So we're going to keep doing that. Uh, we're going to see where the Pulse Chain pro uh, podcast goes. We're going to start doing once a week, uh, Cassie, Ben, and I, and uh, we'll see where it goes. You know, we, I still have a bunch of people on the on the list that I want to talk to. There are people in this room that are, uh, you know, speakers um, that, I, that, I, that I'm interested in having on. And, uh, you know, Maddie Allen did a great job, too. We had, I think, Maddie Allen, um, <clears throat> Maddie Allen's episode. I'm not sure if it's live yet. I think it is. Um, Matty Allen did a great job too, and he's in here as well. So I'm just gonna keep doing what I do and press on because, you know, that you gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta, someone's gotta be that bridge. And that's what I did with Icon when I was an ambassador for Icon back in the day. I know many of you maybe who were in crypto uh, earlier, 
Um, maybe know about that project. I was an ambassador for that project for two and a half years. And I, that's how I made a lot of these connections that I have now because, you know, Icon propped me up so that I could speak to other protocols like and other community members like yeah, and other influences like Crypto Wendy, like David Gostein and stuff like that. So, you know, uh, and just utilizing that experience and bringing that over to Pulse Chain, you know, I'm happy to help. But um, I just wanted to come in. And say, Hexy, you know, fantastic job on the launch. I was, you know, watching, you know, I, you know it's been busy. I got my closest friend's bachelor party tomorrow. Um, so I'm, uh, I got to head out, but I just wanted to come in and say hello and uh, keep on going, guys. Congratulations on the launch. Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Um, real quick, just a, a shout out to everyone who is listening. If anyone does want to come up and say a few words, uh, do request the mic. Uh, Vaj, can you mute your mic? Because I'm getting feedback. Yeah, can you guys hear me? Yes, we got R2R in the chat. What's up? What's up? Just a quick one. If any any other speakers do want to step down as well, I can try and get a few people up, and uh, I'll probably get like Matty Allen and anyone who kind of requests. But um, I'll just quickly say this: we are me and Hexy will be on the show with Mario Narfall on Monday. So look out for that. That'll be a Twitter space specifically about meme coins. Um, so we're going to jump on that. So yeah, um, we're going to keep this momentum going. Anyway, sorry. Carry on, Rex. Yeah, no, uh, Thomas, you guys, hope everyone's doing good. I uh, just wanted to shout out uh, Hexy Sexy Bastard here for connecting with uh, BitBoy Crypto over there or Ben Armstrong because we need the, the eyes on this platform. And like Richard says, he doesn't work for us. He ain't going to do shit for us. This is our blockchain. So it's what we do with it. And every day you see a Hex Maxi convert over to acknowledging that there's other stuff on this blockchain. It's not just Hex anymore. There's different tokens in an ecosystem. He built the blockchain, and when a blockchain is meant to be, is used. And different ecosystems like 9-inch, nine 9mm, nine all these different tokens and uh, DEXs are meant to bring mass adoption to Pulse Chain. So as, as long as we keep converting the maxis and they start elevating their game and realizing it's just not about Hex, it's a perfect time right now. Pulse chain's down, hex is down, e hex, everything. Nine inch is it's on boner mode. It's it's mooning. This is exactly what we need. And people can start converting, you know, their money from one thing to the next. But this ecosystem is gonna grow because meme tokens is why Ethereum gas fees are high all the time. Anytime a meme token launches, like we need this shit. So it's an exciting time. I'm just glad to be a part of it. We all got to support Ben. We all got to support all these tokens out here, Solid X, all of them, the index tokens, and we'll get this shit moving because Richard don't don't work for us. We, we we work for ourselves. Yeah, boy. Uh, money gang, I don't know how to step down. So uh, just, you know, I've got other shit I need to be focusing on, but I'll probably listen to you boys in the background. So if you can, like, take me down or whatever, then, then do it. Do it. Good now, I'm here. And I'll just quickly say something and then I'll step down too and leave some room for other people to hop up here. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to you know, c congratulate the devs on the launch as usual and let everyone know that honestly, 9inch is the meme coin dex. They're really creating opportunities for uh, devs uh, to build communities and really attach themselves to uh, Coin Hub and to 9inch. And, and make, you know, make things possible that, that wouldn't be uh, necessarily without, without that kind of a community and that kind of outreach being, being accessible to honest devs trying to make um, honest projects, make them long term, make them last and just keep working and hustling. And especially the, the fact that it's, it's meme coin focus and any any volume on on the uh, decks is is going to help boost the nine inch token, boost the BBC token. It's uh, it's really about um, you know if at first you don't succeed, then try 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 again. So uh, you know the, the more tokens you have and the more they're interconnected, the better the better it works out. Uh, Richard Hart understands that. That's why he's you know clearly connected to the uh, Atropa Dev, and he's got the Atropa Dev working and creating these liquidity webs over on uh, Pulse, uh, PulseX. But, um, you know, 
Uh, we, we needed something like that over on Nine Inch, and that's why we got Zeus God of Thunder here bringing that. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to say that. Keep doing what you're doing, boys, and let's, let's send this. Last one, SK. I didn't even realize you were on a different account there, bro. That fucking freaked me out. I was like, hey, <laughs> what's going on, man? <laughs> Shout out SKT, man. I, the founder of about a bajillion projects so far. <laughs> but I love it. I love it. Building them all on nine inch. So I quite, I, I'm, I'm all about that, man. I'm all about that. Um, right, I see we got uh, Matty Allen up. That was a wonderful tweet you put out, sir. Almost brought a tear to my eye, man. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, well, I'm excited about people finally paying attention to Pulse Chain. And so, yeah, mass, massive respect to you guys and what you're building because it's awesome. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah much appreciated, man. I, I think we're really starting to kind of get the get the word out now. I think we've, like you said, uh, you, you called me straight after and the first thing you said is man you're really starting to like break out of this like if, if i was a chart i'd be like breaking out of a bull flag right now <laughs> you're absolutely right like or if nine inch was a chart which it is and it has just broken out of a bull flag actually funnily enough but uh but yeah it's basically that it's a uh, it's 100 man um but yeah i appreciate you being here um i see we got cz in the building what's up what's up girl how you doing Hey, to all the bros up here on the stage, I just came up here, Hexy, to say congratulations, and I've always been here rooting for you. I know you didn't really go anywhere, and it was such an honor to finally meet you in person. I always knew you could do this. I'm so excited, and just want to tell a little truth. Um, I wasn't that excited about, you know, meeting. I was going to meet Ben in Vegas when we're all in Vegas. I was just wasn't too sure. I didn't know what the angle was, you know. But as I met him, I just literally love the dude, okay? Like, he is, you know, I mean, there's always two sides of every story, right? So, I'm so excited he's on board with this project. I think it's going to do amazing things for Pulse Chain. And that's all I wanted to come up here and say. I'm excited. I feel like there's a heart beating. And um, I love you guys. And, Hexy, again, thank you so much for being so kind and buying me so many drinks in Vegas. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You're very welcome, man. You're very welcome. I enjoyed buying many drinks for people. I always do. <laughs> nice. It was great to meet you, too. It was great to I meet you. I actually did get a little scared for you for a minute because I was like, where the fuck did you disappear to? And we were like, literally, like, where are, I'm not going to say the other name, but because I don't want to like throw them under the bus, but you guys came up missing and I was worried, but I'm glad you're okay. And again, congratulations. Have a great You'll day. You'll have to DM me who you're talking about, man, because I actually can't remember. <laughs> oh, okay. I will. <laughs> was it Was it a lady? No, no, no. I mean, you could call him a lady if you wanted to. Oh, fuck it. I'll just say it. Crypto coffee. <laughs> oh, coffee. Yeah, yeah. Me and him fucked off a few times. <laughs> Nah, he's all right. He's all right. Yeah, we, we had a... I was hanging out with coffee at DCC pretty much more than anyone, like, the whole time I was there. I was hanging out with those guys basically every day. It was awesome. I'd, I'd never really, like, me and coffee have spoke loads of times, but I'd never really, like, hung out with him um, properly. So, uh, I mean, even when we did the... Um, we did a stream a couple of weeks ago, and we did the stream. It was about an hour, hour and a half long. And then we literally sat in the green room chatting for, like, two hours after. It was awesome. Like, me and him just get on so well. And uh, same with DCC as well. I just, like, it's just awesome. So, there's so many cool guys in the, in the Hex and Pulse Chain community. And obviously, we're all, we're all in it for the same mission. So, I think, I think that's what, what brings us all together. Like, these days, like today, uh, they're going to be so memorable because we're just, like, look at the faces that are here right now. Like, we're here right at the beginning of this popping off. Imagine Pulse Chain actually does pop off and become, like, one of the biggest blockchains in the world. And we were like the earliest adopters of it. Like, imagine that, man. We're gonna go, we're gonna go down as legends, all of us. All right, cool. So, um, anyone else, by the way, that does want to come up and speak, just feel free to put your hand up. Uh, let me see how many people we got in here. Fuck me. Yeah, there's a got, like there's a couple guys coming up now. 
But yeah, there's I'm one dude that down. keeps trying I'm... to request. He's not coming in. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to drop down. I just want to say congratulations. Yeah, hey, guys. You oh, could yeah. you uh, drop me down if Thanks, you want to. Thanks, Steve. No, you guys can hang out as long as you want. I'm just I'm just putting the floor out because I just seen that we've got literally like 270 people listening. It's really cool. Um, Yo, little bit of... there, come up. We want to see you up here as well. You don't get enough love. Little bit of uh, news which I need to tweet out in just a moment is the Ben V2 airdrop has now been done. They've all been sent pulls and we've just completed the airdrop for that as well. So all of those guys have got, uh, how much have they got? 582,000 tokens each. That's 5,000 people with 582,000 tokens. Let me get a price on that. Give me a sec. Uh, where's, the, where's the bro? Give me the bro. Okay, so 582,000 times point zero zero. It's almost zero zero three. Wow, damn, bro. That's like, oh, mate. That's, that's 1,700 bucks right now. Holy crap. Yo, they're coming running, mate. They're, they're running to Paul's chain right now. I don't even want to tweet that. It's going to make the chart go down. <laughs> nah, Jeez. don't tweet it. Let them find out. Let them figure it out. Ben, ben can deal with that. Yeah, I mean, well, that that's worth tweeting, though, because that'll be 5,000 fresh faces coming to Paul's chain right now. Holy crap, dude. That's, that's insane. Because it was 25% of the supply that went out. But don't forget as well, guys, that 25% of the supply is available. I think it might even be available now. Let me have a quick look. I think it is, yeah. So if you go to the BBC Pools page on 9inch, uh, is, it, is it around now? I'm not sure if it is. Hang on. Oh, yeah, there it is. There it is. You can earn bro by staking BBC. Um doesn't say the APR yet, but damn, there's one, there's 1.6 million BBC in there right now. Holy shit, the BBC price is like 40 cents, so 0.4 times 164, 65. Damn, there's 650,000 dollars in that pool already. Holy crap. BBC price go moon, please. Go to the moon. Yeah, so you need BBC if you want to earn that. And you can earn it for free. 25% of the supply is going out within the next six months. That's how, that's how long this inflation period is going to go for. Uh, Kino, if you're listening, by the way, I see you in the, in the chat down there. Uh, maybe we should move that to the top, bro. <laughs> put, that, put that right at the top. Because people have to scroll down and find that. I don't know what this, like, Lewis and Huey is. <laughs> it used to be above those fuckers, though. <laughs> Let's get on that, man. Um... Yeah, so you can earn bro. So if you've got any BBC already, uh, that would be a really good place to put it, just for a bit. And you can harvest that at any time as well, by the way. So as as it's going, you know, as you're earning it, uh, for everyone, like every block you can harvest. Um, so it's it's pretty cool. It ends in one million four hundred ninety-six thousand four hundred fifty-seven blocks. So I don't I don't know how long that is. It's not telling me. But yeah, it should be six months. So god damn, yield upon yield, so you can, you can uh, stake, you can stake 9 inch to earn BBC, you can stake BBC to earn bro, if you wanted to you could sell the bro and buy more 9 inch and then just repeat the process, compounding gains baby, all day. Hey what's up guys man? Hey how you doing bro, you good? Hey, man, Listen, I just wanted to give a big shout out to the 9 inch team. You know, they're always working their asses off and CoinHub, guys, if you're not in CoinHub, I don't know what the fuck you're doing, bruv. You lot need to get in there, you know what I mean? Because that's where the real alpha is. And if you're in CoinHub, you're in the right hands. T.I.M.E forward slash CoinHub underscore nine inch. Get yourselves over there, boys. That's the Before there's a membership charge, guys, because I rumour had that Hexy Bastard's going to start doing a membership charge on there. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be like what one million uh one million bro tokens just to get in. Holy shit. I guess your li <laughs> lifetime membership, but yeah, one million bro. I think I, I paid something like thirty million pools for that earlier. I, I think it's worth more now. Yeah, it's definitely worth more now. Way more than yeah. that now, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Although someone's cheating the bag. Someone is cheating the bag right now. There's a dip on, on bro right now if you if you're interested. Picking a cheap bag up. Please, it's 2x, is. can I jeep? 
Yeah, someone's cheated the bag. It's down 48%. Mm-mm-mm, tasty dip. Uh, if it goes any lower, I'll definitely buy more. Oh, I see as well. We've got, um, I think I just seen Randy Halaski and Brother KG in the chat. Uh, maybe you guys request the mic. Come on up. I see Hans as well. Hans, you should come up here. I know you made a bit of money. I haven't read your message yet, but looks like you're a happy boy. All three of you guys should come up. Uh, who else? Have we got anyone else in the chat? I've got someone who I've blocked. Brandon Ferris. Sorry, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I blocked you. You probably pissed me off. It takes a lot for me to block someone, man. So you must have really fucked up. <laughs> I don't block my haters. I, I, I bathe in their tears. <laughs> I think we got uh, Randy as the speaker now. Uh, Randy, can you try the Hey, mic? guys. Yeah, sure, guys. Hey, I'm at the mall. I, I'm at the mall, so I don't want to talk too much. A lot of there's a coffee shop. And uh, I want to say congratulations, guys. What a beautiful launch. I, I didn't get to get any... I had to spend some, spend some time in immigration today. So uh, I, I appreciate all you guys are doing. I, I appreciate uh, all the hard work you're putting in. And um, we're going to keep working hard, bringing quality projects to Nine Inch and to the whole Pulchin ecosystem. So that's all, about, all I really have to say. I'll see you guys all soon here in Europe in a couple weeks. Good stuff, man. Yeah. Looking forward Wait. to seeing you again. It's going to be a lot of fun. When, when Super Yacht, sir. <laughs> super Yacht, you know. Fuck me. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. That's that's going to be a really, really good party, that. Um, all right, cool. Who else we got? Brother KG, you coming up, sir? Hansy, you coming up, sir? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Hey, KG in the house. What's up, bro? What's up, my favorite bastard? Good to hear from all you guys. Congrats on the legendary work. It was cool to see that this morning. But thousands of people outside of Pulse Chain watching as Ben chooses to launch his only meme coin on Pulse Chain. So nice work, guys. That was absolutely legendary. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. I mean, like, I don't even really know how that happened, honestly. Like, I did the, we did the uh, sponsored show with him. And... Maybe about 25 minutes in, 30 minutes in after talking to him, the penny dropped and he was just like, I should do one of these. I was like, fuck yeah, you should do one of these. Do it right now. I can do it for you right now. It takes one minute. Let's go. And he's like, oh, no, no, let's play. Let's play. I was like, yeah, sorry, bro. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Uh, yeah, you're right. We should we should, uh, we should, should do a bit of foreplay first, you know, warm up to it. But uh, yeah, it fucking worked out well. And seeing this chart, I mean, even on this dip that it's on now, 78,000% gains in how many hours are we talking here fuck it's not been many three hours and 33 minutes through 34 minutes three hours 34 minutes and it's even after a dip it's up 77,000 x uh, percent sorry that's fucking insane like this is exactly what's going to attract the dgens to pulse chain like all these solana bros the only reason they went there is because of the crazy x's that you could get on these random like low cap shit shit coins uh, now, this isn't even a low-cap shitcoin. Like, currently, it's 22 million market cap. I'd say that's fairly low-cap, but it could go a lot higher. could go a hell of a lot higher, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, this could be worth billions. So, what's that? That's uh, 50x from here to get to a billion market cap. That could totally happen. With a guy like Ben representing it, um, man, the sky's the limit. It could, go, it could go as high as you can imagine. So, uh, yeah. And, and we want to try and help you out as best we can. We want to try and like really get behind him as well because he's decided to do it on Pulse Chain. He didn't decide to do it on an L2. He didn't decide to do it on any other L1. He did it on our chain. So we, we can help him out and we're going to we're gonna back him. No, amen to that, Money Gang. Also, good to hear from you. Now, I think that that's a very important point because if other influencers and creators can see that, hey, Pulse Chain coins are doing Xs. Look what you know, Ben's meme coin did. And if the Pulse Chain community can rally behind that and, you know, blow the narrative up around this thing, that should encourage other people with a voice to come here and do the same thing. Because right? everybody wants their coin to do well. That is one fear of any influencer launching a coin is that it sucks. No one wants their coin to suck. So, no, I, I agree with that completely. And, yeah, yeah, good work. 
the, the thing is as well is like this gives us a really good opportunity what Corey Costa's done and a lot of the other guys have done with these kind of pulse chain based shows is just Ex- ex- expose what how good our builders are and, and what we're building i think that's the most important thing again everyone makes it about one individual when we know that that's a significant individual but it's not the reason why we got into pulse chain the reason was it's the community and the people around it and the builders around it and that should be the focus really and then if uh, if fat man does want to uh send our bags then sure we'll, we'll, we'll join him on that but you know the, the big Sorry, you can't call him fat man on a twitter space come on man show some respect what the fuck <laughs> the benevolent <laughs> whale excuse me let's let's call it that yeah the great great guy but um we, we're not we, even going we, up right now bro <laughs> 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 no i got love for the guy i got love for the guy but yeah you, know, you get what i'm saying how you doing uh, mr Profile? It's good to see you in the uh, Twitter spaces. Shit. <laughs> How you guys are doing today, guys? Can you guys hear me? Yeah, 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 loud and clear. Nice, nice, nice. I'm, I'm very happy for you guys. Really. I was waiting for so long for this uh, thing to go up. <laughs> so I started moving my phones around from the Ethereum. There were nine, in, uh, nine, nine inch from Ethereum to provide liquidity. Or nine inch from both sides. So for me, it's a uh, I've been waiting along. So thank you for reviving yourself like Lazarus again and come back to the space. You know, so you I, I love you guys. I love you guys. You guys have been doing a good job. And and yeah, I'm streaming right now. So um, yeah, we'll do the shout out again. You know, from the sacrifice until now. Um, a lot of people have been uh, having expectation. And it's not bad to have an expectation. It's okay to have an expectation. And yeah, everything takes time, right? Things, it takes time to be here. It takes time to, to do something. It takes time to to expand the horizons. And this is the thing that we have been preaching for for a long time already. Um, the, the, the main metrics of crypto is the one of the main reasons uh, that people start getting into crypto is because of meme coin. Right, because it's easy to understand, it's easy to transact with, and Pulse Chain uh, can make it better. And of course, we have a lot of things that we have to work on, but we are getting there slowly but steady. I don't know if you guys saw the new feature of the new feature of Twitter right now that you can share screen. I didn't know that. Oh shit! Really? Yeah, video and everything. Oh, well, like on on like a stream on Twitter, not in not in the space, no. No, yeah, in the space, in the space. I just heard right now. Didn't know you could do that. But I, I, I hey, good to hear from you, Crypto Profeta. Keep up the great work, man. You're doing a lot of good work out there. I wanted to share kind of a funny story. So, we've actually. In the internet money wallet, we've actually been battling this pricing thing with Dex Screener because we get all of our pricing. Why have Dex you guys Screener. let that scamming rat Matty Allen all up in the stage? He's a fucking wasp whore. Matty Allen's a scamming rat. Why is he up on the mic? Yeah, get rid of that, Clint. <laughs> Mate, he's gone. He came in with a different flipping username. Oh, Cleo, go away. <laughs> was it, it wasn't Cleo, I thought so. <laughs> Every single time, bro, this guy. Like, uh, Matty, wh- Matty wh- why does he hate you so much, man? I have no <laughs> idea. I, I just know it's been for like years, so it's not anything I've done recently. Fuck it, hell, man. I'm, yeah. Moving on. Yeah, that, that fuck it, hell. <laughs> 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 I can't, I can't, like, that was kind of funny, but like, still, <laughs> come on, man, God, come man. in the space and just start slagging someone off like that, it's not cool, man, let's be nice in here, man, it's a good day for Pulse Chain, like, if you ain't got, if you ain't got bags in Pulse Chain, then maybe you can talk like that, but it's only because you're sour, um, if you've got bags in Pulse Chain, then either be nice or shut the fuck up, <laughs> like, seriously, exactly, man, I completely agree. So I'm just about to finish my um, McDonald's banana milkshake, and I think I might 
grab a glass of wine because tonight deserves a celebration. It's been a fucking long week. Like it's been well, actually, I say it's been a long week. I spent most of it hanging out in Portugal with my boys, so I suppose they weren't that bad. But uh, but you know, I think uh, I think I deserve a glass of wine today. So um, I see Cabana's going to be streaming tonight for the first time in a while. That'll be. I'm going to have to watch that on the repeat. I love Cabana. His shows are great. I wonder if they'll talk about this because he's on with uh, he's on with Buck and Dylan. So obviously they're going to be talking like Fiat Famous and all that. But it'll be interesting if they cover that because that's pretty big cheese right there. Biggest news in Pulse Chain for a long time, I think. Actually, we're getting told in the uh, in the Telegram group to just talk a little bit about CoinHub and uh, Nine Inch and and all of that kind of good stuff. Um, obviously, guys, we've got a, a what would you say? It's like a kind of BSC's. Kind BSC of, gems. How would you describe it? BSC, BSC gems. gems. So this, that, like, I wasn't around, but um, Kino and K9 were. But BSC gems like had all the alpha for Binance Smart Chain, and um, basically there was there was coins in there like what's happened today, where you know a coin will launch. If you get in early enough, you can make like a twenty thousand dex in like a few hours, and that's like legit money that you can just keep. So um, obviously there's slippage and stuff like that, but BSC Gems was like the hotspot, and that's really what we're trying to make CoinHub um, on Nine Inch. Now everyone's got their own angle for Pulse Chain, what they want to do with it. Some people want it to be, you know, we've got a lot of utility maxis in Pulse Chain, but I'm of the belief that this is going to be a meme coin centric cycle. I think meme coins are going to be the biggest thing this cycle. People would rather rather buy a picture of dog than super high utility token. I guarantee it. Uh, this this cycle around that's that's what it's going to be that's why we set up to create nine inch in the first place and coin hub is just kind of like a spin-off telegram room for that uh currently there's only two thousand people in there i reckon there's going to be at least ten thousand in there uh by well within the next few months man honestly so uh yeah t.me forward slash coin hub underscore nine inch that's c-o-i-n-h-u-b as in porn hub your favorite website but coin hub underscore nine number nine inch uh go ahead and join that if you're not already in there um real quick let me just shift this because i see that hans is up here um let's let's give him the mic for a bit uh for a minute how, how you doing bro i'm good um i just want to congratulate you on the launch um i'm getting accused um of being paid um but i've been making some memes for it i think the memes are so fire they think i'm getting paid for it but i didn't get paid obviously uh yeah, I just um, might have um, sniped with Prodigy been the first in that block. So uh, I've done really well. Yeah, so thank you for that. And oh, fuck me, bro. Really. I hope you got some BBC. Do you mind pairing some BBC liquidity? <laughs> Can you do that for us? I'm, I'm in the, the PLS pair, so I'm, I'm supporting the project. Fair enough, fair enough. No, but that's cool. That, what, so you were one of the first guys who got in? Holy crap. It must have been. Sheesh, so yeah, beers, beers are on hands this year, <laughs> for the whole year. <laughs> well, congratulations, bro, that's why, that's why we do it, that's why we do it, man. Um, I'm happy for you, mate, I'm happy for, now I'm probably the only, I probably got in later than everyone in this room, because I was on the stream, I can't exactly buy while I'm on the stream, can I? I didn't get no founder allocation, nothing like that, I, I probably got in later than all of you. So I'll, send you, I'll send you a cool bot to do it, I'll send you a cool bot on, on um, Telegram. All right. Okay. I I like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Please do. I would mind getting like a nice thirty four thousand X in a day. That'd be all right. <laughs> so so if you so let's let's assume that you put in like a hundred bucks. What would that hundred bucks be worth now? Six packs. BBC is pumping. What's the price of BBC? Seven right six K buy on BBC. How are you not fucking bullish? Uh, how much? Sixty six grand buy on BBC. Shit! <laughs> how are you guys not bullish? Grand. Holy shit! What's the price now? Forty three, bro. Forty three. Looking beautiful, man. Damn! Oh my god, guys! BBC was at like two and a half pennies less than a month ago, and it's at 43 cents. You get fucking out of here, mate. That is mad. 
I love my job. This is these are the best of times. Do you know what? Let me tell you guys a, a funny little story. K9 and Kino will laugh at this. They're both listening right now. About two or three months ago, I was depressed, mate. I was I was so depressed because I was like, man, we've put so much work into this. Like, we've built an amazing thing. I've put my heart and soul in this, and I'm getting so much hate. Like, everyone's hating on me. I'm just like, I can't post a tweet without like ten guys going scamming prick. I hope you get murdered. I'm gonna stab you when you come to London. Shit like this, right? Like, literally, I was getting I was getting death threats like weekly. <laughs> like. Legit. I know it's just fucking random internet trolls and whatever, right? But I was getting some serious, serious hate, like, two or three months ago. And then today, like, not even today, go back a week ago, I was getting, like, five, ten messages a day. Like, mate, you're killing it. This is great. Fucking well done. You know, it's, it's mad how, like, the, the mood has shifted. Like, Bastard Stock was at an all-time low two months ago now it's basically at an all-time high and the prices ain't even at all-time high yet so damn like i just want to say thank you to anyone who didn't fade me and who didn't think that i was like some piece of shit just trying to take your money and run away that was never ever part of the plan i want all of this all i want everything to do really really well i hope that everyone who sacrificed for nine inch or even bought into nine inch at a later date whatever i hope all of you kill it because that's that's what we're here to do we're here to take fucking over, baby. So, yeah, it's just a funny story how, like, everything went from the worst. Like, I was hella depressed, man. I'm not even joking. I was, like, real down in the dumps thinking, like, this is never going to improve, is it? And they were like, no. And this, this, is the, this is the part of the story. So, like, K9, it was, he basically took me to one side and was like, mate, I know you're feeling shit now, but imagine, like, you get all the hate when, because you're the face, right? You get all the hate when things are bad, but imagine how good it's going to be when things are good. I was like, oh, but what if that day never comes? <laughs> like, what happens? But yeah, here we are, man. Hey, uh, I, it's, it's, it's right right now. The lunch Let me say you something about here. Never lost faith in you, Hexy. We're here for you. We're here for Coin Hub. And we're all going to the moon together. So let me say something about yeah, this, guys, because this is my, my uh, third full cycle. Um, this shit happens every time, and what the Hexy Bastard is going through is a real thing. Uh, the emotional roller coaster of being a founder is 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 for real, and, and it hurts. There are the death threat thing is real. The people who are messaging you saying they're going to meet you and stab you is real. People are going to say these kind of things, and uh, it, it's not easy. So when if you're out there and you're looking to become a founder, just know that when the good comes, it's really good. And when the bad comes, they're, they're coming for you. <laughs> so, uh, just keep your chin up and, and just ride the roller coaster because it all turns around and comes back and gets green again. Cheers. Absolutely. Uh, you know what it just made me think of is, you know, that meme of like the girl who's been in a bare knuckle fight and she's like, Oh, I had a really good time. It was a lot of fun. I had a blast. <laughs> I just thought of that with like, so you want to be a crypto founder underneath it. It just cracked me up. It's like, yeah, yeah, I had a blast, man. Coming out, I've, I've only got one arm. I, like, one of my eyes is missing. I'm fucked. Like, I can't walk properly anymore. I've got gabby knee. But you know what? Everyone loves me now. So it's great. <laughs> Literally. Uh, yeah, and this is why traders like to sit on the sideline and just trade. You know, too much of a pussy to get in the front and get out there and make their own stuff. So uh, I, I always I always laugh at the traders when they're talking smack on Twitter and on Telegram when when they're not, they're not building anything they're just you know they're leeching and th I have no problem with that you know you need someone to buy your stuff you need someone to sell your stuff uh, it's just part of the game but just 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 know that the builders are the ones out there taking the biggest risk. Oh yeah, I I definitely get that and you're so right about that. There's so many traders that really don't understand what it takes to be a developer or what it takes to to, to be behind the scenes doing all these things, to be taking all those kind of risks and, uh, and and to be, you know, constantly just be getting called a scammer, a farmer, or, or what, whatever else, even, even when you did not, nothing wrong and you are, you are putting your best out there. I mean, projects pump, pump projects dump, pro projects get revived after the pump and dump too. That's what a lot of people don't, don't realize. A lot, of, a lot of investors really aren't looking for projects that that have settled and are ready to reverse and honestly there's a lot of projects like that on nine inch a lot of them and uh you guys got to open your eyes because when the time is right a lot of these things are going to pop 
and Lunch Money is one of those bad boys. And I know Randy also knows that Nope is one of those ones. I mean, Nope never really dumped, though. Nope's just been steadily grinding, going up. Um, but, uh, you know, you, you've got a huge following. I, I, I didn't even know that you launched uh, other projects before Nope. But uh, I, I'm sorry to hear about, about all the death threats and stuff in the past. I've been lucky to not get any of those. But uh, my projects, uh, I, I, I guess they didn't, they didn't, uh, they didn't like, attract the same type of attention. I mean, Pulse Moon are pumped and dumped, and we're working on bringing that one back up, but, um, yeah, uh, it, it is what it is. I, I, I'm lucky I haven't gotten the death threats yet, but uh, I feel for you, Hexy, and I'm glad you're, you're past, you're, you're over that, that hump now, and, like, let's get ready for the bull market. Let's send it. Yep, yeah, I, I I truly think that like Pulse is gonna have its day and it will it will do incredibly well. It just needed time to settle. I mean, we're almost at that fifty two weeks, right? Like this is this is the thing people say, oh, fifty two weeks to shake out the, the weak hands. Uh, I actually completely believe, um, completely believe in that. So it'd be interesting to see how the prices pop. And uh, to be fair, it does look like it's bottomed out. Now, uh, Pulse Chain and Pulse X do. So, who knows how high they will go. Uh, they might only do a 20x from the bottom. But hell, if it only does a 20x, are you going to be bothered if you bought the bottom? And it was a fairly safe bag to hold the whole way up. A 20x is pretty good, man. For a long-term hold, that's that's decent. Like, uh, But, you know, I think it'll do a lot higher than that. It, it could do anything between like a 20x and a 1,000x. Like maybe, maybe 500. Um, depends how bullish or bearish you are. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I um, you know, obviously the, the market cap's really high and uh, a lot of people put a lot of money in earlier. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a lot harder. Like a lot of people are, 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 are counting on the same 10,000 X that Hex did. But like Hex had a much, much uh, like lower reception. A lot less money went into the auctions at first. And then it, it, it did like a 99% drop after that. And that's where he counted from. So it's like, uh, that's, that's, that, that's different. Like what Pulse Chain is going to be capable of doing versus what Hex was capable of doing are two completely different things. Um, but a, a 50 X, a 20 X, a hundred X, all very much on the table, very plausible and, uh, and more than enough for a main blockchain token. What you need to be hunting for is the coins that are doing X's on top of that. They are riding Pulse Chain to bigger axes and that's that's the way to go um we don't we don't need pulse chain to do crazy crazy numbers we just need it to do a 20 50 x and that's pretty much guaranteed with the kind of momentum we're getting for a first cycle um blockchain it's it, you know it's 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 ridiculous like we've got we've got some of the hardest shillers the best onboarders in the space hex always had that Richard Hart, like his number one thing was was onboarding uh, people into crypto from traditional finance and from tr traditional marketing backgrounds, and and he's just made an army of people that are now doing the same for him for this blockchain. So I I don't see any any outcome really where uh, the real builders on this blockchain aren't going to succeed if you just stay persistent. Sorry, I was just off the app for a second there. I completely sorry. It took me a while to get back to the app there. That was that was weird. Um, yeah, mate, a hundred percent, hundred percent. I think like we're really we're really onto a winner now. So nine inches pumping like crazy. Uh, BBC's pumping like crazy. I think I think really what what uh, BBC's doing is it's just playing catch up to ink right now. Uh, so whatever the ink price is. I believe that the BBC price should be higher than Ink because it does a lot more and it's lower supply. It's a better product in general, man. So, like, I know there's a lot of guys out there that like Ink and I'm not shitting on it. I'm just saying that BBC's the same, but there's less of it. It's actually getting burned exponentially as well. You know what's interesting? So, the, the 9 inch buy and burn mostly buy and burns the 9 inch token, not the Ink token. But when I look on the decks, I see that only 0.53% of the 9-inch supply has been burnt, but 0.62% uh, 
of the supply of BBC has been burnt. That is a huge difference, man. Like, that's that that means the BBC is being burnt quicker than it's actually coming out because I've watched that number grow for like a few weeks now since we've had this like mad volume with solid X and stuff. Uh, that number was at like 0 0.35 and it's just shot up to 0 0.62. So that means that in the last few weeks, if it, we have been burning ink quicker than we're printing ink. Uh, sorry, BBC. We've been burning BBC quicker than we're printing BBC. So if that carries on, if we keep getting this kind of volume, and I mean, when we're launching tokens by guys like Ben Armstrong and stuff like that, how is the volume going to calm down? We're, I'm noticing that we're burning more BBC than we're actually printing. So that number could go a lot higher yet. Um, ink doesn't have a buy and burn. You also can't stake your ink to earn anything. Uh, there's not really any farms for it. There's not much you can do with ink, but you can do a lot with BBC. You can do a hell of a lot with BBC. I mean, damn, you can earn this token that, that um, Ben just put out today with BBC. If you go to 9inch, go to earn and BBC pools, you can stake BBC and earn it. That's why some some crazy motherfucker just bought $62,000, was it, <laughs> worth in, in one click. Let's have a look. See if I can find the, the transaction real quick. Uh, BBC. Let's have a look. Oh, damn, it's at 46 cents. It's just mooning me. It's just mooning. Like crazy. If you look at that on the daily, it's just like, literally, there's no stopping it. It's just broken through the last bit of resistance it had before a dollar, really. Well, maybe 50 cents. You can call 50 cents resistance. But after that, there's like no resistance to the dollar. So that's, you know, another 2x straight off the bat there, potentially, if it does it. Uh, but yeah, some crazy guy just bought sixty-two, sixty-eight thousand dollars worth of uh, BBC in one buy. Crazy man, crazy. Hey, so, hey Hexy, yeah. it's Randy. Hey, could I could I um talk about a couple of things that are coming up? Sure, go for it. Yeah, so uh, this weekend, I don't know if you guys saw that Steve Hitson, he's launching his uh, Scuba Steve, and that that's gonna uh, Steve's a big hitter in uh, Pulse Chain, but one of the quiet big hitters. Um, he's launched a scuba seep on Sunday and then on Wednesday, our boy Nagabo, who has, happens to be here in the chat is launching his voodoo balls. So <laughs> nine inches just to be hitting doubles, triples, homers, uh, I'm sorry, baseball terms here <laughs> over and over again for the next couple of weeks. So, uh, uh, just, just keep watching guys. The last uh, I didn't happening. know about, um, I didn't know about Steve. So is he launching that on nine inches as well? Yes, he is. Oh, I don't know if he's I don't know if he I don't know if he's using the de deploy platform, but I don't think he's using the deploy platform. But he's actually going to you know put liquidity on nine inch right away. Yeah, man, Steve's a good guy. He oh, also damn. launched the profit token. You know, he's very transparent and yeah, man. That's really cool. I love Steve Hitson. I've spoke to him a few times. I know he was like he was really into nine inch when when we did the sacrifice. Uh, so yeah, no, that's that's great. And also, Naga Bear, if you're here, mate, request the mic. Let's let's get you up for a bit. Uh, we are going to have to wrap this spaces up fairly soon and move it over to the Coin Hub Telegram, um, which is tme forward slash Coin Hub underscore nine inch. Sorry, I keep repeating myself. I just want you fuckers to join it because uh, it's the best group in, in pool stream right now. Uh, Naga Bear, if you're there, man, request the mic because uh, I want to hear from you. And you're an entertaining guy. <laughs> I love it. I just want you to come up and say jackpot, bitch, and then go. You don't have to say anything else. Guys, sorry, one last alpha before that happens. For some reason, I'm watching the lunch money chart and it's fucking pumping like crazy right now. I don't know what's going on. Lunch money is one of the coolest things to come out of the CoinHub Telegram. It hasn't really had a pump yet either. I, I just think basically everything associated with a uh, nine inch is, is just on its way now. I wouldn't be surprised if Paul Pleb was pumping, Paul Stoge, all of them, mate. <laughs> Every, everything associated with nine inches is probably pumping right now. Bro, I um, just looked into it, and the, bro, what the fuck? The top trader of fucking bro is buying lunch right now, bro. What the fuck am I watching? Is that, what, Fire Whale? No, no, the top trader, not Fire Whale, I mean the top trader of bro right now is buying up lunch money. I don't know, it's weird. What the fuck? Sheesh. I wonder who that is. Show yourself. 
No, don't show yourself. Yeah. Just keep pumping the chart. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> whoever that is, if you're listening, whoever that is who's pumping the lunch chart right now and is apparently the top trader in um in a uh, bro token, do drop me a DM. I would like to talk to you. You're not in trouble, I promise. <laughs> That's, that's insane, though. No, good shit, man. I mean, so the story with Lunch Money was it was a group of DGENs, I think over 100 people in the Coin Hub Telegram for like eight hours coming up with an idea for a coin. And it was funny because I wasn't there. I joined right at the end after they'd launched and everything. And <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, so what? So you guys have had a long brainstorm. What have you come up with? And they said, Lunch Money. And I was like, what a shit name. <laughs> but I still bought some. I ate 17 grand in there and then. <laughs> And you guys were all pissing yourself. I came back, um, I wasn't like smashed, but I'd been to the pub. And uh, I, I came back and you guys told me that. I was like, for fuck's sake, is that all you could come up with? Oh, well, I'll buy it anyway. <laughs> I bought 17 grand's worth. <laughs> Fucking sent the chart to the moon. And then a lot of people dumped on my head. But then I just bought more when it went down. So I, I believe I'm the second largest holder on that. Someone ever took me by a couple more. But uh, yeah. Lunch money is a good play. If you if you're in if you're in the Nanish ecosystem, I think lunch money will get supported long term because um, it's a cool idea and it was a community driven idea as well. So yeah, I, I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, pump my bags, please, sis. All right. So anyone else want to come up to the stage real quick? Uh, probably going to call this off soon. I mean, it's been it's been great. We have got like nearly three hundred people listening right now. That's crazy, man. Big Twitter space. We're going to be doing Twitter spaces a lot more often now. Actually, whenever we've got news, we'll do Twitter spaces. Um, but we're doing Coin Hub voice chats basically every night. So if you want to hear from any of those guys that have been up here tonight, uh, well, uh, certainly like the Nine Inch Team guys, like Money Gang or K9 or DG, who was up here earlier, things like that. Uh, Coin Hub VC is where you want to be. It's happening every night. I'm in there at least a few nights a week. Um, can't do every day, man. It's too DGM for me. But, uh, but I do other stuff, so it's okay. So yeah, anyone who wants to come up um, and just, just say a few words or anything like that, now's the time. Otherwise, I'll probably shut the spaces down in a minute. So speak or forever hold your peace. Or any of the speakers that are already up as well, if anyone else wants to say something else or bring up a new topic or something, go ahead. But I'm running out of things to say, and I hate repeating myself 50 times. I'm like, I, I don't want to have to show coin up. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't want to have to show CoinHub another five times. K9 keeps messaging me like, talk about CoinHub. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, if you're not in the, uh, if you're not in the nine inch, <laughs> well, go, on, go join it on Telegram. Oh, sorry, I thought I was muted. Um, go follow the speaker. <laughs> sorry, I'm coughing well, my get, fucking lens up. I thought I was muted. My bad, my bad. Law. <laughs> Yeah, just just get in. Um, you know, obviously there's those two big um, deployments coming up from Randy's guys, uh, Nagabo, and I, I forgot the other guys. Apologies, but yeah, um, you want to get get in on that, get in Coin Hub, get in the Nine Inch Telegram group chat as well, and uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy bull run, I reckon. Uh, Snowbody just came up. Uh, what are you saying, bro? Yeah, so I basically just wanted to say that uh, you were mentioning the BBC bird, but uh, what's funny is uh, it's actually hard to keep track of exactly how much BBC has been burned because Snow Bunny was the first rewards token to ever launch on... H hang on, hang on, real, real quick, real quick. Is that SKT again on a different account? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bro, that's like the fourth... How many fucking coins have you found with me? I bet you I can't even no remember. <laughs> Me, this is like the fourth. Uh, the yeah, 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 you know, there, there's a certain. <laughs> is it just me or have I lost him? Yeah, I kind of rugged him. Sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you rugged him. Oh, you did have to rug him. It's okay. Oh, sorry, Snow Bunny. Um, yeah, but you are you are kind of right though. I mean, come on, man. That's the fourth account you've been up chilling. Like, come on, me. <laughs> There's a limit, you know. We know it's you because we can hear your fucking voice. You need to get delegates to do it for you. <laughs> it's fine, man. I like the sound of his voice. It's fine. No, I like the guy a lot, but fuck me. That's that's four accounts. Four, four things he's come up to shell in one fucking space. Jesus. 
I don't even work for the lunch money thing because if that's pumping, but holy shit, bro, just chill, you know, do it in coin hub. <laughs> Anyway, all right, on that note, that was a funny way to end the show, actually. <laughs> that was quite funny. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, thank you to everyone who came through. Thank you to everyone who, who appreciates what we're doing. Um, and and I just wish you all mad gains. I I believe that bro is on a dip right now. So if you are interested, maybe, maybe it's a good time to nibble at it. But just bear in mind that airdrop's not long gone out. And uh, currently the airdrop's worth a fair bit. Now, it's Depends how many of them want to come and just dump it. I, I don't know how many, but um, there might be a bigger dip. This is the alpha right here. There could be a bigger dip. And I've got bags, right? I'm not telling you this so that you go dump it. I'm not saying sell. I'm saying wait for opportunities to buy because I think this thing will do really, really well in the future. So if you've already got a bag, just keep your bags. But yeah, maybe maybe buy some BBC and stake that and earn some of it on that because that's looking at that as a long-term play. Imagine if you just stake BBC and wait for like the full six-month period. Imagine what the price could be then. The market cap could be in the billions, literally. Could be. Could be in the billions. Not financial advice, obviously. Um, any final world, uh, words, gentlemen, that are already up? Nah, nothing from me. I guess not. Thanks, KG. Thanks, Matty. Thanks, uh, fuckcloud.com. We wrote KR, and it's KR. Yeah. Thanks, KR. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for coming through. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, shut this bitch down. Join us in uh, CoinHub uh, VC. We'll go over there now. T.me forward slash CoinHub underscore nine inch. We'll see you over there shortly. Peace.